An aluminium can produces 95 times its weight in CO2 and air polluting emissions during its manufacture. Aluminium, tin and steel, the materials used to make drinks cans, are infinitely recyclable. This means they can be melted down and endlessly reused with no loss of quality in what's known as closed loop recycling. To find out how reimagining waste as a resource can help us change our behaviour, I talked to Karen from AluPro, who runs Every Can Counts. We probably have about 75% of all aluminium that was ever mined still out there. But it's getting a hold of it and making sure that it's being used to its best advantage and with the lowest possible environmental footprint. There is a program that uh, one of the can recycling companies are using, not too far from us here in, uh, in Ireland. It's in Warrington and they have a program called the Evercan and what they're looking to do is to have a can-to-can -can closed loop recycling platform which means that the cans that you see here today could be back on, on your shelf in six weeks time. And Karen, what's the benefits now of recycling aluminium cans over say using virgin aluminium bauxite? Huge, huge. If you use virgin bauxite, you're using 95% more energy. If you use virgin bauxite, you're, you're emitting 95% more carbon emissions into the atmosphere. So it's all about carbon footprinting, getting away from creating a problem, being more sustainable. So if we recycle our materials and use what we have rather than discarding it, we then don't have to mine. We don't have to take it out of the ground. We're actually using the resources that we're throwing away to produce a new thing. And aluminium is a perfect example of it. There may be others that might find that a little bit more difficult to do, but with aluminium, we can do that. We can actually demonstrate closed loop recycling. Well, why should something that we can use as a resource end up in a place where it's not going to be used as a resource? 